Hello folks, this is James Qualley from Circuit Solutions and Repair LLC. We're St. Club, Minnesota's number one industrial electronics repair facility. Um, we're a small company. Uh, we specialize in repairing industrial electronics and industrial electronics only. Uh, we just acquired um, ABI's System 8. I generally don't give a unpaid plug for uh, companies, but I really have a, a special uh, spot in my heart uh, for ABI Electronics. Um, we love what they do. We love the uh, equipment that they manufacture, um, and, and we love how they treat their uh, customers. Um, they stand by the product uh, 100%. Um, and uh, what I'm showing off today is actually just kind of giving a brief overview of some of the test equipment that we purchased uh, through them. Um, we've got their System 8 um, Advanced Matrix Scanner, and we also picked up their um, Digital IC Tester. Um, it's actually the Advanced Test Module. Um, and you can see that I've got the Advanced Matrix Scanner uh, set up and ready to go. I don't have anything actually hooked up to it. Um, it's pretty uh, cool though. We can actually go into here. We can either um, choose between uh, probing, you know, like um, two different electrical uh, nodes on a, a circuit board. So we can do node A and node B, and we can do a pass failure analysis. What's really cool is we can do a 3D signature analysis and look for uh, um, deviations within the voltage current uh, signature. Um, we can either do a, a probe, or we can also set this up to, to uh, do a clip. Um, and what's really neat about this is we can, I mean, we can go all the way up to, I mean, I think it's like 32 different pins if we really want to for advanced matrix uh, scanning. Um, and it's it's really cool because this allows us to really look for hard to find faults and damage um, to a digital IC. Um, this isn't currently set up for advanced matrix scanning, but um, let's see if I can go to uh, a simpler, uh, like an eight pin uh, package here. And so you can actually see that we can actually do uh, 3D uh, scanning. We can actually look at, at the uh, at the VI signature in 3D uh, mode. Um, you can actually hit start, and it's just cool how this actually works. So we'll actually uh, um, scan through the pins. If you uh, have it hooked up, you can plug directly into into a, a circuit board and do a a comparison or a point for point comparison between a, a good board and a bad board, and you can set the uh, tolerances for a pass fail fail um we can actually stop the uh stop this and freeze it and we can actually zoom in we can actually go in and, and we can look at these we can look at the um the xy uh, coordinate and actually there's more um because it's uh, 3d but it's actually quite cool because we have very good uh, coverage with this um we can actually go in we can set the um you know, the, the different uh, voltages, we can go up to 50 volts peak to peak, or we can go down to two volts peak to peak, which is Im extremely important when we're uh, testing, you know, low voltage ICs. A lot of low voltage ICs can't take much more than two volts. Um, you can change the uh, the impedance. You can also do a uh, voltage uh, uh, current, or you can do voltage uh, time. So we can actually change the, uh, what we're uh, displaying. Uh, this is like I said, very high-end test equipment that's got all the all the bangs. I mean, all the, the bells and whistles. You really do get a lot of bang for your buck with, uh, with this. Um, we can actually go in, we can change the uh, different frequencies um, that we're going to apply to this. Once again, this is just the, uh, the advanced test uh, or the advanced matrix uh, scanner. Um, that was set up uh, for... Um, just plain 3D uh, mode, but you can actually go into um, uh, VI matrix uh, testing. Um, we can actually run the, uh, we can change the uh, voltage here. Once again, go back down to two volts peak to peak. Have it run at about one kilohertz. And uh, we can hit start on there. And then we can actually, you can see that we can actually get a, a scan. Now, the reason why it, it shows up like this is because we've got nothing, uh, actually hooked up to this. Um, so it's basically not scanning anything. Um, but we can actually set this up so it does every pin-to-pin -pin combination, which is pretty cool. So we get very good coverage um, for PCB uh, fault analysis. Um, 
there are times where we have circuit boards that come in and they're extremely hard to uh, um, to run testing on. And because of that, um, we also have what is known as the advanced test module. We can actually um, go in and we can set up um, different uh, Boolean logic um, tests. We can actually go in and, and, and put in a, a part number and then we can actually run a, an actual test on it. Um, we can also do logic. Uh, we can actually look at the logic trace. We can do some more VI testing on there. Um, we can set up some different um, truth table tests. We can, you know, set up different parameters. This uh, test equipment really does, like I said, have all the bells and whistles. Um, thanks again uh, for taking a look at our uh, video here. If you do happen to have industrial equipment that needs to be uh, tested, um, feel free to contact us at Circuit Solutions and Repair LLC. Um, you can contact me personally at uh, 320-250-4287. Once again, that's 320-250-4287. And if you need a system like this, feel free to contact Dan Evans over at uh, Salig Electronics.